Hey there, everyone. Jacqueline Jacks from AVA Live Radio. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to look in the description box because I have this artist and her song, as well as a bunch of new singles that I'm actually working with right now on our playlist. And I think you will like the 100 playlist. It is a cool playlist because there's so much good stuff on there for everybody. I um, So you guys have been leaving me some amazing messages. Can I just say thank you so much because I am so impressed with you guys lately. I mean, this month on this channel, it has been blowing up. We have uh, reached 200,000 views, which I am so excited about. So I'm glad you're liking the reviews. Um, I actually missed the Grammys the other night. I was working and recording a new music release radar for work and forgot entirely. I spaced out and forgot entirely about the Grammys. So I didn't get to see any of these performances. So I thought I would look at this one because a few of you guys asked me to do a review on this one. And you said Olivia Rodrigo killed it on the Grammys. So I'm like, whoop. Let's do it on the channel so we can watch it together. I think that's a good idea. So apparently this one has something to do with an artist that I worked with a long time ago, over 10 years ago, Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, was on my show. We did interviews and uh, did some stuff with her over in the Asian market, which is pretty cool. And now I have seen her latest uh, music and I have seen her latest movies, which is pretty cool. But I guess she's dating this boyfriend or ex-boyfriend of Olivia's. And that's what this song is about. Is that what you guys are telling me? So uh, there's a little backstory or a little history here. And I'm kind of, I'm not really intertwined in it, but I do know Sabrina Carpenter pretty well. So let's go and check out Olivia's song. I hear it is spectacular. I have heard the song on the radio before. I've never played it myself, but I, uh, I've got the words and lyrics right up so that I can take a look because I'm, I'm really kind of interested now. Um, all my reviews you usually see me uh, just telling you about the performances, tell you what I notice, I go over the lyrics, I do a little bit deeper dive maybe than a lot of people, but in any case, let's put it on and see where we go from here, shall we? I'm excited to see this. License, last week, just like we always talked about, cause you were so excited for me, finally drive up to your house, Beautiful, don't you think, guys? Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Oof. Okay, wait. Yeah, this is definitely boy. What? So what happened? Did did, did this? boy actually break up with her for Sabrina Carpenter is that what's going on and now that spurred the song I got my driver's license last week just like we always talked about because you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house but today I drove through the suburbs crying because you were you weren't around and you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me doubt she's so much older than me she's anything I'm insecure about Today I drove through the suburbs because how could I ever love someone else? Oh my goodness, this is so heartbreaking. Oh, I can't stand it. She looks amazing though. I mean, if you're going to sing a breakup song. <laughs> Stunning. Oh. Oh, that chorus. Yeah. God, her voice is so beautiful. Like, can I just say right now, right off the bat, stopping it, she, start, she starts it with this beautiful, elegant, just lovely sound, right? I mean, it's just so soft and so fragile and so honest. I think it's very honest. I mean, it, she's, she's either a great actress or she's really going through, you know, something and she's able to reproduce that in the song or it's still fresh because it just sounds so lovely and it sounds so heartfelt, right? I mean, who hasn't felt this way? 
I mean, you know what I mean? How can you not? Even if you did break up with somebody and they ended up with someone else and you knew who it was, I think I think it would it would be a sore on and everyone's soul, you know? Um well, she looks absolutely beautiful. She I like the set for the live performance. I think it's really hard to command so much attention and for such a long period of time without a lot of activity and action. So, I'm amazed that you guys just felt this song right down even your heart and your soul and you related to it it has a seriously hooky chorus from what i could hear already and that's probably you know why you guys are just loving it i'm already in love with it let's listen to more i just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that i'm gone i guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song Look at her face. Talk about digging deep. I mean, like if you're a singer and you don't see how deep this woman is digging for this, she's really able to get back in touch on her songs. I would be interested to see how she is in concert singing the song. And if she like the very next song, if it goes right, if she's able to break right out of it or if that kind of remains there because she looks so she looks so intense, so intense. Oh, I love this. My goodness. Oh, okay, it's stepping up now. Um, I love the way this whole set looks like this could be the official video, right? And it would have been fine. I haven't seen the official video. Is there an official video? I would assume there is for the song. To tell you the truth, I am not an Olivia Rodrigo fan, but I am now. I tend to, I tend to gravitate to things with a little harder edge, but let me know another song I should definitely take a look at because this girl is beautiful she's not only a talented actress i remember her coming out from walt disney which i believe sabrina did some stuff with on the disney channel i'm not really i can't really remember but i'd have to go back into the interview and listen but i know you were perfect but i've never felt this way for no wow i just can't imagine how you could be so Oh. oh yeah okay that is just beautiful she didn't even skip a beat literally I mean she went in that beautiful just area it didn't break she has such good good strength you know and she just held it back enough you know like it's not like she's screaming like sometimes people will go into a vocal in this kind of area where it's like a belting area and they will push too hard you know, but she didn't. I think that it really, she managed for a live performance to just hit the right sweet spot coming off of that like delicate area into something a little harder that just kind of really kind of wrenches us, right? Really grabs us, grabs our attention a little bit more and makes us like, oh yeah, just feel it. And if you turn up the volume, man, it's golden. I think she did a great job on this. It's almost over. I'm sad, I wanna watch it again. Oh. oh, that's it. That's it. You know, it's funny. I had a really hard time finding a version that had the entire thing. And the version that I was going to play literally capped off. So I don't know. If you guys have a version that hasn't been blocked, let me know. And I'd love to see it. Link it up below. And I'll certainly uh, do another another watch with you but it's awesome i love how the stage changed colors i loved everything about this performance i thought it was just beautiful it was like i said elegant and classy and she's just 
She's a wonderful, wonderful artist, and I would definitely watch her stuff again. So I'll be following her pretty closely. I hope you guys will too, and I will add this one to our playlist at AVA Live Radio Top 100, linked up in the bio for you if you want to go check out all the songs I got on there, and yeah. All right, let me know what you know. I want to know what you guys know about this artist and if I should review another one. I'm looking for suggestions. All right, guys, thanks. Have you're here to watch this video unpack with me. So here is a deep dive on the lyrics, a deep dive on what's going on in this video, as well as choreography, all kinds of goodies, because there's a lot to unpack here. And you I remember how powerful she always has been and such a great symbol she is for women as well as black women in the music industry and every industry.